Good morning, you guys. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello, my name is Marissa, and I just want to say thank you so much for taking the time to click in today's video. So in today's video, I wanted to share with you guys what I've been doing pretty much to maintain my health for the last four to five months now, but most specifically, I wanted to talk to you guys about what I did to build a healthier relationship with food this year because your mental health, your relationship with food is just as important than what you consume and do on a physical level. So let's dive in before I show you guys my breakfast. All right, let's break down the process. So number one, I do a combination of intuitive eating and I also estimate my calorie intake, which is usually about 1800 to 2000 a day, depending on my workouts for that day. By the way, I don't calculate every food item because I pretty much get an idea of what I normally eat. But I'm just showing you guys in the video because I know some of you guys like when I show the measurements. Number two, I don't restrict or eliminate any food groups, meaning I still pretty much eat whatever I want. I just eat in moderation and finding a balance where I can still go out and eat at restaurants with my friends and family and eat junk food, but at the same time, I will find foods that are healthier and more nutrients in them. So the reason why I count my calories is because I previously suffered from a binge eating disorder. I used to be someone that had no control when it came to food. I always ate out of my emotions. And to be honest, I wasn't doing it in a healthy way because it led me to more depression and more stress. Counting calories helped me find a way to take control of my intake at a healthy level. Now I know that this is absolutely not the route that everyone needs to take, but the message here is to share that living a healthy lifestyle is a unique experience for everyone and I don't think that there's one exact way to live a healthy lifestyle. We all have different experiences when it comes to our relationship with food. It's important to remember that health is also a feeling and not just based on what you consume or do physically. To do what makes you feel the most comfortable and the most happiest with food. Alright guys, let's get back into the video. So for breakfast, I decided to make something really simple. It's because it was one of those days where I didn't go grocery shopping and I kind of just used whatever I had left over in the fridge. So I just made some oatmeal with some pecans, almond slices, banana, and some oranges. It was really good actually, to be honest. Um, the maple syrup made it really tasty. And yeah, usually I have oatmeal in the morning or I'll make pancakes. Sometimes I'll do like an omelet and then I'll read. Currently, the book that I'm reading right now is called Millionaire Success Habits. Guys, I am so obsessed with this book because it gives really good tips on how you can live more successfully and daily positive habits you can add in your routine. And yeah, I really think you guys should check that book out. Anyways, moving on to my workouts. So you guys, to be honest, I've been kind of slacking ever since I moved to my new apartment. I've kind of been slacking on my workouts. Um, so my abs disappeared. And you know what? That's fine. Life happens. Sometimes you're not going to be on your fitness game all the time. And yeah, now I'm about to head out with my waist trainer and do my cardio workout for about an hour and a half. The back from my workout and I feel amazing the feeling after is always so rewarding anyways I'm about to freshen up and make my snack so if you follow me on Instagram then you know about my vegan apple skinny pie basically it is where I roast some apples in a pan I put some vegan butter and then I add some dark chocolate and some fruits on top and it comes out bomb. I'm telling you guys, it tastes like a literal apple pie without the crust. Also, I love when you guys show me pictures or videos through Instagram of you making this recipe. It always makes my day, it always makes me feel like I'm doing something, especially when you guys actually like the recipe. So if you guys want to try the recipe out, please feel free to um, feel free to show me pictures if you end up trying it, if you end up liking it. But yeah, I really hope you guys try this recipe out and I really hope you like it. And yeah, this is my snack.
All right, guys, moving on to lunch, we are going to have a nice shrimp salad with some avocados, some egg, some tomatoes and mangoes, and some lettuce. Usually I make this with some lime and lemon as my seasoning, but I totally forgot to get that. So I'm just going to have to use it without it. Anyways, reason why this is one of my favorite lunches ever, it's because it has so much protein. It is very filling. Um, the avocado and the egg with the shrimp makes it very filling. And yeah, I clearly don't know how to cut an avocado, which is looking so disrespectful right now. <laughs> snack of the day i'm going to be having coffee with some french vanilla creamer and then some almond milk um i'm really trying to refrain from whole milk i'm not perfect and i'm not there yet i still eat dairy but you know what guys cheers to progress because i definitely back in the old days i would have got whole milk but recently i've been buying almond milk which i'm super happy about anyways um, I'm going to make my coffee and I'm going to use a frother to pretty much blend it up to make it foamy. Um, the foam is not going to be that foamy since it's almond milk. By the way, you guys, I don't consume dairy like that. The only time I really drink it is when I make coffee. I don't know what it is. I feel like milk, regular milk tastes better with your coffee. But, you know, I'm trying to make progress here. Anyways, I am cutting up some fruit. I am making some strawberries and some figs with some pecans. You guys, this is a really great way for you to suppress your cravings. If you're just having one of those days where you're just not trying to eat like junkier food, not trying to snack out a lot, definitely recommend you guys to eat fruit. It's a great way to suppress your cravings. It's a great way to find a snack that's low in calorie but super healthy and can make you feel more filled. to our last meal of the day which is going to be some pasta which i absolutely love we are going to make some butternut butter squash um ravioli with some tomato basil sauce if you are a vegetarian i don't think this is vegan but if you're a vegetarian definitely please try that dish out it is so freaking good even if you're not vegetarian try this dish out it's so good it literally tastes so filling um one thing to mention, so we're going to pause right here. I found out that you were supposed to boil water and I didn't do it. I just straight up threw the ravioli in and the tomato base. And I knew something was wrong because one, it was way too easy and simple. And I don't like when stuff feels too good to be true. I don't like when stuff feels too simple because that's when I know I'm fucked up. So you guys don't make the same mistake that I made. Make sure you boil some water because I practically ate uncooked ravioli, which was really stupid, but yeah. To be honest, it felt like a really cooked ravioli, but the whole time, you guys, the whole entire time, that wasn't cooked all the way. Um, thank God it was a vegetable and wasn't me. Oh, girl, because that would have been bad. Um, but yeah, this is my uncooked ravioli, and I hope you guys enjoy my little dinner segment. And it was super filling. It was yummy. Um, don't know how since I didn't cook it all the way. But yeah, I'm topping it off with some Parmesan cheese and some sun-dried tomatoes. And yeah, that is pretty much concludes my what I eat in a day video. And then I also threw in some um, basil leaf for that little razzle-dazzle. It makes it look a little healthier. And yeah, 
I hope you guys enjoyed my what I eat in a day video. Um, please make sure you cook your food all the way. And um, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Please let me know what you guys think. And again, as always, if you have anything you want to share with me, feel free to DM me. Feel free to comment below. And I love you guys so much. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye.